Hello guys, welcome back to the channel that Techie Guy. And in this video, I have invited one of the TCS ILP candidates of August. Okay, so Shriyans was from 28th August batch. Okay, and uh, he joined in Bangalore. And today he will teach you how to approach the PR Unix coding question. Okay, so in next scenario, we will see. How this coding questions of Unix can be attempted? Okay. Yes, Riyans. So, starting with your introduction first, please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Riyans Kumar Yadav, and I joined this year on twenty eighth August. Okay, so you have joined on twenty eighth August, right? Okay. Uh, what's your location? Joining location? Okay, Bangalore. Okay. So, uh, firstly, I need your help to solve that uh, Unix question, right? Which is coming in your PRA, okay? Yeah. yeah. So, how many attempts you took to clear your PRA? Only one. Okay, only one. And what was the like most difficult part? Is it coding or MCQ? No, nothing is difficult. It's all easy. Okay, all is easy, right? So, yeah, it's, it's actually easy. Okay, actually, is ninety percent of our batch had cleared it in the first attempt. Okay, ninety percent of these students. Okay, that's great. Ah, uh, so are you able to see this question of Unix? Yes. Yeah. So I am reading it for you. Okay. So you have a file having employee details from ABC Private Limited. Okay, ABC Private Limited, I think, is a name of a company. Okay. The yes. format of the file is given below, and dash is the field. For delimiters, okay, like it is separated by it, okay. So you have four things onto the column: ID, name, salary, and age, okay. Age first, salary later, okay. And we have four entries: D one zero one is for Hema, her age is twenty two, and salary is forty thousand. D two three four for Teja, his age is twenty four, and salary is fifty thousand. D three four one is for Rama, okay, and so on, right. Our task is to write a Unix command to find the average of salary of employees. Okay, we need average of the salaries of employee working in a ABC Private Limited company. Okay, and for better understanding, we have put it a formula here: average equal to sum of all salaries divided by total number of employees. Right, and we need to print in the below format like average salary and their average. Okay. The file will be provided in the command line argument, and the script containing your command will run. Okay, and uh, we need to use the cell variables dollar zero, dollar one, dollar two. That will uh, like Shyams will explain you what is this. Okay, so Shyams, this is the input. Okay, and this is the output. Okay, and here it is the code which is like mostly written by uh, all of you, right? Yeah. Yeah, so please explain this code. So starting with the first line, okay? What is this first line mean? See, bro, I know that uh, like if we write off, then we have to bring put single quotes, and inside the single quotes there are a fun like there are basically functions. Okay, there like uh, this is basically a function. Okay, so awk means a main method, right? And we need to put this code here, right? And we can write our code inside there, right? Awk is basically for pattern scanning. Okay, for pattern scanning. Okay, and it is inside the single quotes, right? After awk, awk there will be single quote. Okay. And the body will be like begin uh, curly braces. Okay. Open, curly braces close. Then again, uh, curly braces open, curly braces close, close. Okay. And at the end there will be end with curly braces close and open. Okay. Open and close. Okay, so. You know, like what this code is written here. Why this is written here? Yeah. This is basically field separator. Okay, it's basically a field separator. Okay, it means this is just like separating these values, right? These entries, right? Yeah. Okay. And uh, what what is here? N R stands for like uh, what is NR the meaning of? Basically, number of rows. Okay, number of rows. Okay, like when it is greater than one, we need to. Add this, okay. Number of rows means these entries, right? Yeah. And if it is greater than one, we need to run that yeah. function, right? Okay. Yeah. So what this does this dollar four indicates? 
dollar four is the fourth column which is numerical form so it is a integer value okay integer value means it is not a starting by zero right yeah okay and uh, this means id is in the first column right names is in yeah. second column age is in third column salary is in fourth column right yeah. okay and yeah. we are maintaining a variable called sum right yeah and we are also maintaining one variable called count right like the, how many of columns were there we are adding right yes and at last we are just printing that which we uh, need right average like sum divided by count right yes okay so here i found uh, like uh, something i have a doubt okay i think many will have a doubt so will asking that okay so we have initialized this sum and count here right hmm. and on to the basic programming language these are the variables is only available inside this right yes and we have not written any data types here right so in unix that means you didn't need data type right to store value no okay and these variable can be used outside their scopes also right because the, uh, these are only declared in if and we are using here right yes it can be used yeah okay so it can be used right yeah okay so shiraz what was the advice uh, like you will give to other students who's gonna attempt like pra what should their approach to be so it's simple only just learn about field separator okay and, uh, sort algorithms also okay this is the field separator right yeah yeah okay and also we don't have to consider the first row sometimes at that time we need to use the nr thing okay and uh, this is field separator right yeah okay and what is nr stand for number of row yeah yeah or row number right yeah. okay number of row okay so let's see maybe here i think one more question of unix will be there so let's see that question also okay yeah okay yeah so here is the second question okay yeah. here is unix question uh, employee details are sorted in a file in the following format separated by one blank space okay mm. so i think this is the format name designation department and salary we need to write a unix command to find the total salary of the employee okay yeah. from the department given as sales okay so we need to check for department like if department equal to sales we need to check the total salary right here we don't need to do average i think we just need to plus the salary right yeah. So the output should be here, like total salary is equal to the value calculated. Okay. Mm -hmm. In case there are no employee found from sales department, the output will be no employee found, right? That means we need to write a condition. I think if salary is zero, then we can print this, right? Yes. Okay. And uh, here is the input, right? Let's jumping on this. Here is the input. So let's we need to calculate for sales right so i am just marking those entries which is in the sales okay so here is also this is all, is also for sales rest is not right so we can calculate this i think it's 145000 23000 and 53000 right this is our answer right fourth row also okay right so let's check and this is input 2 yeah and this is the code right so as you already told awk is the command which we wrote right and inside the code which we wrote right mm. begin is to start with here it is written as ignore case equal to one what is that meaning it means that we can take the case sensitive also case insensitive okay so uh those who don't know wait i am marking here that means ram and ram is same right yeah okay and total i think here we have also maintaining a variable right total equal to zero right yeah. okay and here same if number of row is greater than zero and and variable three is equal equal to sales so here variable three right that's cell variable right this is known as cell variable right yeah, yeah. okay so let's come here and comment it down yeah so dollar I think this is cell variable, right? Yeah. 
ओके सेल वेरिएबल ओके एंड व्हाट वी आर डूइंग हियर वी आर जस्ट इफ इट इज इक्वल राइट बोथ कंडीशंस वर इक्वल वी आर जस्ट टोटलिंग द फोर्थ कॉलम हियर राइट फोर्थ कॉलम वैल्यू व्हिच इज सैलरी एंड इन दिस केस देयर इज ओनली फोर्थ राइट एंड इफ द टोटल वी आर एंडिंग हियर इज कोड राइट दिस मींस एंड राइट ओके सो वी आर फॉलोइंग टू सेक्शंस हियर हियर इज बिगिन here is end and is stand for end and this is pretty simple i think if total is not equal to 0 we pay a printing salary other than printing no employees found right okay so any other question which will, which will came for sorting right okay so we'll uh, cover sorting on to the next lecture okay no worries uh, so thank you rohan for your time till now so yeah, rohan i just want to ask you How was your ILP experience? See, my my ILP experience was uh, good. Actually, you have to do everything by yourself only. So I must I must say that yes, by your own only. Okay. Because okay. you will be getting on the basis of Java only. Okay. So yeah, pure development role. Then you have to learn Java, and in interview they ask you about the Java questions. They okay. don't give directly the uh, sort of like development role. They never give development role to anyone. Like they first, they will give you some like uh, they will put you in a engineering team, but they can give you any role like some analyst or product manager, like product engineering, some other than uh, developer also. But after some time, when you will. be comfortable in that group they will transfer you to the other group okay so rohan i think uh, you have just like uh, searching for the projects right you are available for projects right now right yeah yeah okay so, so you I got, i got project okay you got project okay and uh, you can say your project name what's your project name it, it's of java development only it's okay. under fs yeah okay it's under fsi right ha uh, fs fs okay and uh, you, you, from your end the java language is very important right because legacy see i am working i will be working on the banks project so all the software suits in tcs for banks of the middle east like bahrain and saudi are made in java language only so java language is must java spring boot spring mvc sql uh, rest api etc okay and uh, that means python is not important uh, like as compared to java and dts right you know because legacy systems which are running from long ago they are work, they are made in java so i think java is more important than python okay so uh, rohan any other message which you want to give to other students i just want to say that while taking the project see what the project is don't take it blindly they can give you technical writing also they can put you in some manual testing also like if you are getting testing then also if it is integration testing or automation testing then it's at least good because you will be working on selenium selenium and all but don't never take manual testing okay and like some people get ticket raising works also like solving ticket that support role is also not good Okay, so it means that roles is not good, right? Yeah, according to me. Okay, according to you. Okay, so thank you, Rohan, for your advice. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Jackie. Da. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so you can see in this video, we have seen all the important commands, all the important topics, right? How to do a PRA Unix coding question, right? If you have any doubts, you can comment down below. if you need more such videos on unix coding question because i think some sorting questions will be remaining right if you want these kinds of questions as well you can comment it down on to the channel we will invite another some of the candidates from this year's batch okay 2023 years batch to solve more such questions right and if you want more such content please subscribe to the channel okay thank you bye